Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. Hasn't it been a rainy week? There's been so much rain this week. It's been crazy after all the lovely weather that we've had. I think we were spoilt a little. Here I am showing you my little paint haul that I got. I was very lucky and I struck on some half price PBO, PBO paints. I'm not sure how you say it. I always say PBO as in PBO. Uh, but I've heard some people pronounce it a different way. But yeah, I got a whole load of new paints so that I can delve into my new love. Um, well, it's not a new love, it's an, a love revisited of jelly plate printing. And I want to make some of these so that I can do some abstract um, pieces uh, based on the stone circles that I've been visiting recently. Because I thought I'd tie the two things together uh, so that I could get um a nice um maybe series of of paintings or pieces of artwork i'm not sure how it's going to work yet but the first bit involves me um doing some jelly print prints on some um wet strength tissue paper that i can then incorporate as uh, collage work into these pieces so watch this space there may be more of that to come up in the meantime, here's a little bit of swatching of those paints that I just bought. Enjoy!
This week I also did a little bit of felt work as well because I was flicking through my very, I say very old, it's not very old, my older sketchbook and found a little panda that I had uh, forgotten to do anything with. So this poor little forgotten panda has now been um, made into a felt pin and I thought you might like to see a little bit of my design process. Obviously there you can see the picture of the panda and I am very, <laughs> very high tech this is. Uh, copying onto bits of cardboard so I can get myself a pattern. Um, usually I use uh, plastic um, for the the pattern pieces because it tends to be a bit sturdy but also card works re equally as well and also very high tech my copying is going to be done via carbon paper. <laughs> I'm so high tech, seriously people, I don't know how I cope with myself. Anyway, yes, so here I am onto carbon paper, onto a piece of card underneath and it works well. It works really well. Little checky there to make sure it's going on. Yeah, there's his nose. <laughs> so that's one of the pieces that I made. Um, I also found some felt pieces I've not listed on Etsy yet. So that's going to be a little job to take some photos and list those up on Etsy this week at some point. Uh, and this guy will also be there. And as we go through, um, there might be a little sneak peek of my new uh, Dally Gang, uh, starting with a little pickle.
Okay, so this jelly plate that I'm showing you now, all the jelly plates, should I say, I have had for a few years. The big one I had the first, that's the square one, and then I brought the second smaller one, which I don't think I'm going to use today because I'm going to be using a bigger scale piece of tissue paper. There's the lovely brayers that I've got, which help me spread the paint. The little other um, gel press jelly plate that I have there, I don't think I've actually opened. I think I lost my jelly plate and I thought I would buy one of those just to um, keep me going. But I then found it. So now I have to. I have two. Uh, but this bigger one is very useful. Um, I've also done some actual mono prints from this um, previously and I think I might be able to dig those out at some point and see if I can do something with them because um, I tend to do these things. I have a circular way of working. <laughs> I will completely and utterly devote myself to one thing get really 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 excited about it and just keep going and then um the love wanes for a little but only for a little it, it gets put on a back burner and i do something else um i think it's the way my creative brain works so i i have many different things i like to do i like to uh, paint i like to make prints I like to use a lot of textiles in my art. I do textile work. I like a bit of crochet. You get my drift. I like a lot of things. The girl likes to do a lot of things. And so my way of coping with my um, mind is in, or in order to keep myself occupied, I will have lots of different things on the go. And as I say, I will drift into one of these things so one minute I'll be crocheting the next minute I'll be really into felt making the next minute I'll be really into uh, my artwork and I keep myself going by circling around them <laughs> circling around all my interests that I have and so enjoy this footage of me making some prints I'll stop talking and waffling on so that you can sit and listen to this very relaxing and calming music and watch a little bit of the process.
I really love the way that these uh, jelly plate prints uh, just tend to turn out beautifully. I obviously like to load up my print so that I can get more than one print off. So I'll do an initial print and then maybe a couple of ghost prints in order to get the residue off my print. Also, isn't bubble wrap amazing? I have had this piece of bubble wrap for a number of years now and I use it a lot. <laughs> it's not that I haven't got any other bubble wrap, I certainly have. And I also have a lot of mark making tools which I need to dig out and use with this. Um, but you know, just a simple piece of bubble wrap and you can get a nice little texture going on. Also, I do love the use of metallics within these because I think it just shows up so well, especially on the ghost prints. Um, you can get a really good return for a little bit of paint on these. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to making these art pieces. I've had this idea in my head for a little while now and I'm thinking really going to enjoy um, just making these collage pieces. Collage is something that I have done on and off and um, again it's one of those things I want to revisit. Uh, but if you fancy having a go at just a little bit of home printing I cannot recommend jelly plates enough. They are such fun. It's literally just it's a bit messy <laughs> i'll give you that it's a little bit messy but it's so easy to clean up it's just really really easy uh, you actually really don't need to clean the jelly plate when you've finished with it but you will see me at the end of this giving it a wipe down with a baby wipe here's a stencil i've got a selection of stencils and i've managed to find two of them out and this is one of them and um this is really an interesting Thing that you can do you can place it onto your jelly plate obviously brayer it over and take a print off then you can remove the stencil take a print of whatever is left on the jelly plate and then not only but also you can take the stencil itself and then just stick that down onto some of your tissue paper and then roll that with the brayer and you get another print so it's like three gifts in one how about that? It's great. Well, we're coming to the end of this week's episode. I will be back on Thursday with something else. Not quite sure yet what it will be, so it'll be a surprise. But until then, let's say goodbye to each other in a lovely way and have a socially distanced hug and say ta-ta for now. <laughs>